Welcome back to the Malton Man Cave. I'm Keith. I'm Dave. And tonight we're going to be doing an anniversary edition from Compass Box. Coming up. All right, so we're back. And as I said before, tonight we are gonna be doing a compass box. We're gonna be doing compass box, a spice tree extravaganza, a limited release. And actually this particular whiskey or release is to honor, I think the 10 year anniversary of the original release of the compass box spice tree release. You ever heard anything about the spice tree? Uh... Just what you, I think you've talked about a, a little bit with Compass Box. <clears throat> so John Glazer, the, the kind of head guy of this company, he is kind of just known as being a um, pioneer man. Like he just, he's, he's kind of leading the way in transparency, leading the way and like kind of doing things right and kind of changing some of the archaic, crazy, ridiculous ways that Scotch whiskey has kind of over the years kind of gotten into a rut of doing things so you've gen he's generally made thing made decisions for the betterment of whiskey in my opinion yeah most connoisseurs i would say yes okay. um, the scotch whiskey association might not agree yeah. Yeah. He's kinda, because it... he's ruining all their secrets and the way they kind of do things you know cutting corners and, yeah. and kind of yeah he's kind of exposing a lot of the shenanigans that yeah. the industry has been doing for many many years so he's known for you know he he when he first came out he's just like literally <clears throat> everything that's in the whiskey like every barrel that went into this what it is where the yeah. spirit distillery is from yeah <laughs> i just want to know about this guy so um what would be an argument from a scotch connoisseur not necessarily the establishment um but a scotch connoisseur against this guy's approach the only is like destroying tradition. The or? only even possible argument that I heard, and I still don't like it, is that kind of finding out everything that that is in it and every single thing that they did to it kind of takes ruins the, the magic, the magic of it. Yeah, you know, the secrets. But really, isn't the magic <laughs> in the craft itself? Yeah, I mean, exactly, it's, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and those of us like really are geeks, whiskey geeks that want to like truly understand how yeah. it works. Like yeah. we want, I want to know what's in this. I want to know that there's like 10% Glen Ord with first fill sherry or second fill sherry. Like yeah. I just want to know like what creates this amazing flavor that I like. Right. Right. Cause I mean, <clears throat> it's not like you could ever create the conditions that that, that, that distillery has that. Right. Yep. So, so when he first was kind of pioneering his company, he came out with something called spice tree mm -hmm. and the way he did it, he had the barrels and then he took, I think, French oak staves that are just known for getting like this spicy character to mm -hmm. imparts it to a whiskey. He actually put staves that were toasted in French oak and like put it in the middle of the barrel. So we had like the normal barrel and then right. added those staves to the middle. And, and the Scotch whiskey associate was like, no, 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 no. That's, that's not how we do things. That's not how, you know, he's like, we don't care that it might make it better and more flavorful, but that's just not how we do things. Really, he was kind of stepping on their toes because he was you know, telling everybody everything that's in it. They just, it was kind of just rocking the boat. And, you know, so think, about, think about an old church. People were like, oh, this dang electric guitars. We don't like it. It's from the devil. Like people just, older people just like things the way they are, the status quo. And then the church dies. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, no, that's, why, that's what's happening. So this, so after that, he got in this big lawsuit. The Scotch Whiskey Association basically said, you can't do this anymore. So he obviously, you know, did the respectful thing and stopped. And he um, came up with some other way to kind of still get that same yeah. flavor while it's still adhering to the rules. So this is the 10 year anniversary to celebrate the first Spice Tree release. Um, yeah, and this is kind of a little bit better version in my opinion of the regular Spice Tree. Mm. So, excuse me, comes in at 46% ABV, non-colored and non-chill filtered. And lastly, I'm not memorizing this. I want to tell you a little bit about. Oh, no, you got to unlock it. Sorry, I use Fumble. Dave's phone. <clears throat> All right, so this is made of 32.6 percent of the total liquid volume is whiskey from Glen Ord. 17.2 mm. percent ABV or ABV. 17.2 percent is malt whiskey from Ben Rene's, and it's in a first fill sherry butt. 
The rest of it is malt whiskey. 2.6% is from Altabania and Refill American Standard Barrels. And then the last part of it, you kind of got to, they, they have what's called a Highland, um, a blended malt Scott whiskey. Scotch, Scotch whiskey? Scotch. It's a Highland malt blend that's We're composed strong. of 60% malt whiskey from Klein Leash. So daddy likes, because you know how much I love Klein Leash. 20% aged whiskey from Dal Ewan Distillery. And 20% whiskey from Tiananich. I always massacre that pronunciation. And then after vatting, we recast this Highland malt blend and mature it for another four years, four and a half years in our highly active hybrid casks. So it's a lot of freaking information, which I love. I have a little bit of a, a man crush on John Glazer, I gotta be honest. Don't he tell sounds my wife. Like a, Don't tell my wife. He sounds like a man. Like so, without further ado, let's get into some whiskey. Let's Did I interrupt you? I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm just saying, it just sounds like a pretty cool dude. Oh, man. How old I, haven't, I haven't had this in a while. How old, I, how old is he? I don't know. Yeah. 50s. Four, like late 40s, early, mm. late 50s. All right, what do you get on the nose, my friend? Mm. <laughs> I promised Dave last time that the next review that we did it'd be something that was mostly bourbon matured, no peat. <laughs> so it was either bourbon or bourbon matured. There is a little sherry in this, but it's uh, you can't, right? right. And you know what? I I like peat and I like sherry. <laughs> hey, shout out Lindy's Columbus and I forget the server's name, but <clears throat> he was uh he was like, I, what are you drinking? And I said, I was drinking a bourbon. Yeah. And he said, oh, I'm a scotch man. Like, you probably don't want to know anything about that. And I was like, oh, oh. hold on. <laughs> Wait a second. Kind of got this little uh, <laughs> YouTube channel. Yeah. But anyway, you've had a lot of single malts now, man. You've hey, had a lot. I've had, <clears throat> you have exposed. You've had over a hundred at least. You have been my Aladdin, and I've been your Jasmine, and we've been and on the carpet. Road. We've been going. You've been taking me wow. on a magic carpet ride, man. The room is spinning from all the... <laughs> what movie is that from? <laughs> I'm not going to say it, because that would be politically incorrect. <laughs> I don't want to get fired. <laughs> all right, so what do you get on the nose? What do I get on the nose? Uh, pineapple juice right off the bat for me. Some lemon zest. Ginger, okay. I, I wrote cinnamon, apple, oatmeal. It reminds me of just opening up the pack and pouring it into some hot milk. <clears throat> uh, and also new basketball shoes for me. I don't know if you... <laughs> I haven't had new basketball shoes. I hung my shoes up a while. I <laughs> <laughs> no, but... but like it, 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 re it reminded me of that. It's not exactly that scent, but it reminded me of that... Uh, that fresh scent, but then I was like, maybe it's glue. <laughs> that I, right. What'd you get on the nose, man? Cucumber melon, waxy oranges and passion fruit. Ooh. Orange and cream soda, you ever get those, like mm. the Stuart ones from like uh, yeah. Cracker Barrel or just Cro that like- Kroger? Yeah, Do they have those at Kroger? Yeah. I need to start going there. <sighs> man, that's rich. Just buttery, Creamy, vanilla, maltiness, cloves, nutmeg, applesauce with cinnamon. Man, just so many spices. The spice tree is legit. There is a ton of spices. I get from the bourbon, I get like kind of sour pineapple and apples and pears. But the weirdest note I get is peanut brittle. Mm. I don't know. I don't know if you can detect it at all. Just barely, like, just a hit in the back. Oak. Sure. White chocolate milkshake. Ooh. Because it brings all the boys to the yard. My white chocolate. <laughs> you do have a white chocolate milkshake. <laughs> Icing sugar. <laughs> Once you go white, you never come back, man. You just never do. Wait. That's not how it goes. I'm trying to think of something. <laughs> something witty. Once you go white. Out. Once you go white. You, your, your, you're in for, your, you're in for a slight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last thing, a little bit of slight experiment. All right, what do you get on the palate? Uh, um, 
following those those spicy fruit notes, I had like an <laughs> apple pie with a uh, a sugary brown sugar crust. I just I could vision it um, when I would take a sip of it. And then tonight for dinner, after dinner, Kate said in her sweet little voice, she said, can I have another peach? <laughs> and I said, you bet your, your bottom dollar you can have another peach as long as I can have half of it with you. <laughs> and it was just a fresh, <clears throat> juicy peach. You just, mm. Anyways, cinnamon. And then once again, following it up is that original note, cucumber wedding water. What is, what is wedding water? You've never had that? I don't even know what you're talking it's about. It's terrible, man. Cucumber yeah, wedding water? Yeah, they cut up, it's, and, and like spas will do it. <clears throat> Instead of like a lemon, they'll cut up slices of a cucumber and put it into water and put ice into it. Really? Yes. And it vaguely tastes like cucumber. I wonder how they get that cucumber. I mean, you agree, it's there. Yes. Yeah, that's why I said I was trying to figure out what that was. Where would that even come from? How would they even get that? I mean, I guess it must come from the fermentation. Remember how I did that whole thing on esters and how I bet the workers them? eat. They only eat cucumbers. <laughs> and it gets and they, hot in there. They piss in it. No, every once no. In a while. no. Sweat. Yeah. Sweat. It's a more, it's more refined. That sounds like a very logical See, hypothesis. Those, those backwoods... Whiskey makers, they, they're the ones that use pee, but <laughs> real. <clears throat> real men. They sweat into their whiskey. All right, so on the So palate, much editing for this one. <laughs> Not first drink tonight, probably for both of us. <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that might have to do with it. All right, so again, I get cucumber melons. Watered down orange juice, white chocolate cake, mango and passion fruit juice again, a little bit of drying oak, an allspice, ginger, cinnamon, like you name it, all the spices are there. Um, pineapple and pears. This time it's not as it's not as sour on the palate as it smelled on the nose. Honey flavor candle wax. Yeah, sorry, I have a lot of notes for this. This is an incredibly complex whiskey. It's good. It's very good. And again, another weird note. I know I had said peanut brittle on the nose, but this time it's like a little bit of peanut oil. Mm, I see. Dabbed in there. Yeah. Vanilla, and then again, just like a little bit of spirit. <clears throat> so, what about the finish? Uh, I was just, I was just thinking in my head, man, it's still with me. It's it, a long finish. Yeah. It's it's one of the longest I've experienced, and it's probably because of how complex it is. All the different flavor profiles fade away. Um, you get your fruits, you get that your cucumber early on, the the more delicate fruits, and then I feel like it fades into the more the cinnamon and the the um, ginger and things like that towards the end mm -hmm. that have a, a little more substance to it. I don't know how to mm -hmm. explain it, but it's long. Yeah. I'd say it's medium to long, more on the long end. Like again, cucumber, melon, the vanilla, mm -hmm. pineapples and pears. And then at the end you get all that spicy kick at the end. A little barnacles, little, and little, barnacles and bears. No barnacles and bears. Berries on this one, but not the barnacles. Um, a little <clears throat> bit kind of drying oak at the end with mm. all the spices. Yeah. Malty man cave Mark, what are you going to give this? Uh, 51. <laughs> um, Those man. cucumbers, man. Yeah, I can't stand them. Cucumber water. Uh, man, delicious. Really did a good job on this one. I'm going to give this a Malted Man kind of, uh, Dave seal of approval, 91. Woo! 89 out of 100 for me. Almost a 90. If this was cast drink, man. Yeah, this be, right. This would be one of my favorite whiskeys, I think. It had a little heat on the when I would put my nose in it, it had a little bit of heat, and that's why I was like, 
maybe the ABV's high on it, and then yeah. you sit. It was it's a little bit higher than what I guess you would say averages, but yeah. <clears throat> man, what what do you think that could could you feel a little heat on it? Yeah, I mean, just a little. maybe just from the ABV and how how fresh it is. Now, sometimes that can be a result of like a rush distillate if it's kind of a little harsh. I don't think it's too no high. no. But then again, you know I. Like, drink and love. You know I have drink. a delicate schnoz. <laughs> um, if this was cast drink, man, this would be phenomenal. It's already really, really good. If you can find this, pick it up. <clears throat> I think it goes anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks, depending on where you get it and where you order it. Delicious stuff. Get it while you can. So, question of the night. In Ohio, in the fall, is one of the most magical places dun -dun -dun. in the world. Dun -dun -dun. Would you not agree that in the Midwest, specifically Ohio, in the fall, it's just like one of the most amazing Man. seasons. This is magical time. I'll tell you what, the world doesn't have it as good as Ohio has it. <laughs> we have the best. Oh, We have the best uh, university college in the world. <laughs> I don't think the rest of the world agrees with us after the Urban Meyer thing. <laughs> that doesn't matter. Yeah, Ur Urban will leave. We'll still be good. Um, We've got the best college, university. We've got two pro NFL teams to choose from. We have... They both suck. That doesn't matter, <laughs> but but we've got two pro teams. Like, we're a sports... We're a... We Football are Hall a, of Fame. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. If you like sports and, like, like what is... Reproduced Halle Berry and Nick Lachey. Nick Lachey. Keith Clark and Dave Brooks. <laughs> My day <name> for threes. <laughs> Shout out, Nick. Jeffrey Dahmer. Like and subscribe. Lots of serial killers. Nobody knows who Nick Lachey is. <laughs> oh, yes, they do. <laughs> yes, you do know who Nick Lachey oh, is. Yeah, Don't let's lie. let's take a poll. Honestly, if you know what we're talking about. They all know. All right, so, so what's right, the so question? My question is, just talking about we're pumped for football season to come in Ohio. It's one of my favorite seasons, time of the year. Who do you think is going to win the... College men's national championship in football, and who's going to win the championship in the NFL? Okay. Go. Go. Football for me is uh, going to be... I'm going to go with... Uh... <laughs> I should have I thought of one. Alabama, probably. I'm trying to... Th oh, so, so the problem why I'm taking so long is because it's... Probably going to be an SC Sweet C school. You think so? I don't know. Oklahoma, maybe. You got no love for the the Buckeyes. We're like the the, the most deep we've ever been in a long, long time. Like I just our running I, man, back J.K. Say, Dobbins, okay. Mike Lever. Our O line is like I good. say that every Dwayne year. Dwayne Haskins, even I though he's young. Did you see what year. he did against Michigan? This year, I'm not. He looked like a. This year, I'm senior. not going to. I'm not going to curse the Bucks. With my predictions. I do it all the time. It's, I'm not cursing. I'm guaranteeing it. Ohio right. State National right, so Championship. Okay, so how about pro? Who's going to win pro for you? Pro football. Philadelphia Eagles. They're going to go back to back. No. <laughs> if they can win with Nick Foles, no. they're going to have Carson Wentz. They're going to just wreck the NFL, dude. They're gonna, I don't necessarily want them to win. They're not my team. Uh, I'm a bummer Robert fan. Kraft is going to figure it out one more time. He's going to... Pull out no, enough money. I hope not. Oh, I hope not. And and Tommy Boy's going to get one more ring. Could be. Is Gronk still with him? Yeah. Was there, like, talk about him being traded or something? Retiring, retiring, maybe. Dude, he's like the bionic man now. He's, <laughs> like, had so many surgeries. Oh, poor guy. Injuries, but he's still a beast, man. Yeah. Any, uh, so any uh, so college. Think, so, for me, college England, football. Bama. Bama. New England. Man, those are terrible. Well, yeah, it's pretty. They get. No matter how good their schedule is, Bama gets to go every yeah. year. It's ridiculous. How so, about you stop playing Chattanooga? People always talk about the Ohio State schedule. We played USC back to back, Miami University Hurricanes back to back, yeah. Oklahoma, Texas. Like people who say Ohio State schedule, you guys are Looney Tunes. I just you, I don't like my picks. I just am a realist, and they've got a pretty good track record. Who? Bama. Alabama and uh, yeah, because SEC, ESPN. They, they, they make that. sure they get in. And they did everything they could to nail and you are, down to the you fire. you are Buckeyes and the Eagles. I mean, I they could not. But I just I really think we have a really good team. And if Dwayne Haskins plays like he did in the Michigan game, remember he came in when JT Bear was hurt. Yeah. He, 
to be a great. freshman yeah. and not be rattled. And he can sling the ball, man. Yeah. I'm All right, excited. guys. So, Eagles, Buckeyes, Bama, New England. Mark us down. <laughs> Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Like, subscribe. If you want to add a question of the night for us to banner about. And, yeah. <laughs> and, and, yeah. If you want to support the channel, check us out on Patreon. No pressure, just if you want to support the channel. Yeah. And as always...